You know, folks, we, we spend so much time focusing on the big front page stories that every once in a while, it's nice to clip out a letter here, a letter there, and assemble those letter in the ransom note of news <laughs> that is my segment. People are prepared for it. They want it. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> you, you know how 12 presidential candidates wasn't as many as you'd like? Well, good news. Tim Ryan is seriously considering a 2020 bid for president. I already know what his campaign slogan will be. Tim Ryan 2020, toward a future where people know who Tim Ryan is. <laughs> now, in case you are not Tim Ryan or his immediate family, this is Tim Ryan I have been told. <laughs> he is a congressman from Ohio, and he's been coy about the timing of his decision so far because no one asked him. But <laughs> during an appearance on CNN last night, Aaron Burnett, for some reason, pressed him for answers. When are you going to decide? Uh, I, I don't feel any pressure for any uh, timeline at this point. I totally get that, Tim. I'm thinking about becoming a power forward for the Lakers. Uh, when will I decide? You'll just have to wait. I don't feel any pressure for any timeline at this point. <laughs> Meanwhile, following his conviction this week, a drug kingpin El Chapo is probably headed to a supermax prison in Colorado, which is known as the Alcatraz of the Rockies, giving it a slightly snazzier nickname than Pike County Correctional in Pennsylvania, known as the Rikers of the Poconos. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> a lot of honeymooning convicts go there, those yeah, yeah. heart-shaped cells. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in sport news, the Canadian Football League has announced, and let me pause right there. First of all, there is a Canadian Football League. <laughs> and the cheerleaders are here tonight, evidently. <laughs> well, they've announced something, specifically that a defensive tackle with the actual name Poop Johnson has signed to play with the Toronto Argonauts. <laughs> and where did Poop get his nickname? The answer will make you say, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you see, uh, a defensive tackle needs to stay heavy. And when asked about his weight by sports reporters, Johnson once said he can weigh anywhere from 280 to 300 pounds, <laughs> depending on the day. How? I guess because I poop so much. <laughs> 20 pounds. Oh, my. That's what you want on your wow. defensive line. You want a guy who can line up, look his opponent in the eye, and say, I crap three babies a day. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, that gets applause. That, that gets applause. Meanwhile, in for $5,000, you can hunt Bigfoot with Jose Canseco news. For $5,000, you can hunt Bigfoot with Jose Canseco. And we have a new winner for most random headline, knocking out previous champion, the dad from Family Matters will let you ride a snowmobile for 20 bucks. <laughs> it's a bold new business venture for the former major league slugger and steroid sommelier. <laughs> By the way, Ken Seiko is, is the one on the left. <laughs> but the people managing the operation made it clear, only serious inquiries, please. <laughs> okay? Don't call asking to hunt Bigfoot with Jose Canseco if you're gonna treat it like some kind of joke. <laughs> okay, if you're gonna do that, you can just take your business over to Pete Rose's Chupacabra Safari. <laughs> we'll be right back.